3764. Elvis Presley Boulevard. Hit it, Elvis. You got it, E. Elvis back on tour coming to you from South Parkway and Memphis. Uh, pretty excited about this stop because this is a restaurant called, as you can see, Coletta's Italian Restaurant. The story goes behind this is that one Sunday evening at Graceland, and this story was told by George Klein, one Sunday evening at Graceland, um, the guys were sitting around and they, Elvis had an account here and they all headed out to eat. And Elvis said, where are you going to eat? And they said, we're going down to Coletta's. And Elvis said, well, I'll come along. And he came down here and ate with the guys. And they said it was one of the few times, you know, that Elvis really ventured out because a lot of times I think he'd have the food brought in. You know, they'd go to the place that he liked and have the food brought in. But according to legend, uh, Elvis came to this restaurant on several occasions. And what's really cool about this restaurant is it's second to none pizza-wise, uh, the best pizza in, in the area. And also next year, they will celebrate 100 years on this spot. That building has been built onto and built onto and built onto several times, but uh, there's a lot of Elvis history in here, and we're gonna go in here and show you, and we're gonna eat lunch here tomorrow. Coletta's got its start back in the 1920s when Emil Coletta started Suburban Ice Cream Company. Over the years, it turned into Pete's Italian restaurant passed down generations. In the 1970s, Elvis visited this restaurant and ordered a few items that were unavailable. He finally ordered the barbecue pizza and this became one of his favorite dishes. The room that him and his entourage ate in is now called the Elvis Room, filled with Elvis memorabilia including an autographed receipt. We met with Jerry Coletta, third out of five generations of the restaurant's owners, who was also working that night that Elvis stopped by. He was gracious enough to talk with us in the short time we waited for our food. Started this in 23. Yeah, he yeah. Would have, this would have been before. Now, when he was going around with the horse, 23, you're, you're probably right in there. Yeah, going around. I would imagine. And then you said he kept it, and then your dad took over. When was your dad? Then then later in the 20s, he had a Model P40. Okay. Yeah. Now, when would your dad have taken over from him? If we're just doing a time. Well, my dad, as you can see, he helped him. Uh, he was a my dad was a teenager right here. Okay. He had uh, he also had hamburgers, hot dogs. They were nickel. Uh, barbecue sandwiches were expensive. They were ten cents. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly ice cream because he he had uh, down in the basement he had an ice cream machine where he made his own ice cream. And it was called actually back then it was called Suburban Ice Cream Company. So when did you? I know you said you worked here as a kid helping your dad out. <clears throat> But then, when did you come in and say, "I'm, I'm ta what year would that have been when you came in and said, I'm taking it over? Just when I, you know, when I graduated from college, which would have been in uh, 67. Okay. Started working here, you know, full time. Okay. How but, long uh, has your dad been, you know, how long has it been since your dad passed away? It's been, gosh, close to 10 years now. Okay. The, uh, my mother's still living. She'll be Is 100 that? years old next month. Wow. <laughs> Is she still in good health? Or? Well, her mind is good. Her body is giving out on her. But her mind is still good. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Does she ever get to come in here at all anymore? Or? Uh, she don't get out too much, no. I bet it's been a year or two before she's been in, since she's been in here. Uh, get her out to take, take her to the doctor and that's about it. But she'll be getting out for her. We're giving her a big 100th birthday party. In May, and uh, we got relatives coming from all over to come to that. So she'll be getting out for that. Now, when when is your hundred year? It's next year, but what what day yeah. and month and all that are you? So we'll probably pick the middle of the year to celebrate. Middle of the year, yeah. So June, July, and there somewhere in there. But I was going to tell you about pizza. You know, uh, we were the first to introduce pizza to Memphis back in the early fifties when my dad took over. Uh, we had a naval base. The sailors at the naval local naval base in Millington, they would come in and ask for pizza. And of course, we didn't know what it was. He didn't know what it was, and didn't know how to make it. But they kept asking for it. So uh, he uh, he went to Chicago. To, my dad went to Chicago to learn how to make pizza. 
And uh, when he came back, he, he formulated his own crust recipe, and uh, which we still use today. And uh, we put it on the menu, but it wasn't going over very well. So my dad came up with the idea of a barbecue pizza, because everybody likes barbecue. And uh, it seemed to work. It spurred interest in pizza, and uh, even today it remains our signature item. Yeah. So you just do a crust, barbecue sauce, and then you barbecue on that? Anything well, else? we the crust, and we put barbecue sauce and cheese, and we cook that. When it comes out, we put chopped, cooked, already meat's already cooked. Right. But we don't want to cook it twice. Right. We put the meat on, and then we top it with more barbecue sauce. So now, were you all the first ever? Could you lay claim to that? Were you all the first to ever do that? So, so Pizza Hut has, has tried to copy us, but see, we make our own barbecue sauce. We cook our own meat, and uh, their barbecue pizza wasn't anything like ours. Um, speaking of Elvis, do you remember the day he died? I do, I do. Yeah, that was quite a shock for everyone. He helped us die. That was a big deal. Real big deal. He, he said, at the, did you ever see him back there? He sat at the end table or did you ever? You, no, he sat at the big table in the, in the middle with his back to the wall. In the middle? With his back yeah. To the wall. Okay. Right. Wow. And a lot of guys probably were with him. Can I ask you what, so what was your grandfather's name? Because I'd like to put that in there if you don't mind. His name is Emil. E-M-I-L, Emil. E-M-I-L. E-M-I-L. Emil. Excuse me, Bones. Sure. Um, they food is ready. Right. Y'all barbecue pieces is ready. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, sir. All right, y'all enjoy. Thank you, ma'am. If you are ever in Memphis, please stop by Coletta's and try the barbecue pizza. Be sure to take a peek in the Elvis room. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, as well as follow us on all of our social media accounts using the link in the description below.